Prompt chaining is when you use a series of smaller tasks, or in this case prompts, to solve a large or complex task. You see, certain tasks may be too complex to solve in one go. You could write all of this in a single prompt, but that means you're betting everything on that single prompt to work out. Prompt chaining breaks down that potentially convoluted prompt into multiple smaller prompts, allowing you to adapt your follow-up prompt after each response you get back. For example, let's say you are planning a trip to the Greek islands and you want ChatGPT to recommend the top islands to visit, what to do in each island, and the most popular cuisine for each. You could take the time to write a single large prompt like this one, or you could use prompt chaining to break down that prompt into multiple prompts. Doing so has one major benefit. Let's see if you can spot it. Let's start with, I'm planning a trip to the Greek islands. What are the top islands to visit and why? So we're getting Santorini for romance, roads for history, Milos for beaches. My wife does like history, so roads, Crete, and Corfu sound good. But me, I'm in it for the food. I'll come back with, Pick three islands that have a balance of historic sites and unique or specialty foods to try. Wow, that's more like it. I'm getting specific sites to visit as well as food suggestions for each. Let's move on to the next step, which is to ask ChatGPT to create an itinerary based on staying three nights on each island. This final response is exactly what I needed and it's custom tailored to my needs. Can you imagine what it would have been like if I tried to get this kind of response from a single prompt? It would have been really hard. Now, in case you didn't catch it, the major benefit of using prompt chaining here is the flexibility of adjusting my follow-up prompts according to the responses I got back. In this example, I was not convinced of the suggested islands to visit. So I provided more context to help the AI come up with a better answer. You see, prompt chaining allows you to course correct after each interaction, giving you more control over the flow of the conversation. On the other hand, using a single zero-shot prompt could get you to a similar end result, but it would take significantly more effort since you'd have to ask the AI to come up with an entirely different answer covering all the points again. So, think you've mastered prompt chaining by now? Well, actually, you can use prompt chaining in a lot of different ways, and most people don't know these three I'm about to share with you. And hang tight onto the last one because it will correct the AI from making alternative facts, if you know what I mean. Number one, decomposition. Earlier, I showed you how to use smaller problems as building blocks to solve a bigger problem. But you can do the opposite too. Instead of building up, you can use prompt chaining to break something down, like when you want to learn something or better understand a topic. Let's take, for example, non-alcoholic beer. I am rather curious how it tastes so similar to regular beer. It makes me wonder things like, where does beer flavor come from? Does the alcohol itself give flavor? And if non-alcoholic beer has no alcohol, then how is the flavor so similar? Okay, to find out, I could use a single prompt like this one, but instead I want to be more liberal with my learning. I'll put a question out there and adapt my follow-up questions based on what I learn each time. Let's start simple by asking, where does regular beer get its flavor? Okay, oh, so barley, hops, and yeast, right, I knew that. But wait, does alcohol actually give it flavor? Oh, it does. Okay, well then, what percent of the flavor is alcohol? 5 to 30 percent, depending on the type of beer. But if that's the case, then how does non-alcohol beer have such similar flavor then? Oh, I see. So it's the adjustment of ingredients and the modification of some of the brewing techniques. By breaking the topic into smaller prompts, you will allow the AI to provide detailed digestible answers for each part of the topic, which are also specific to what I wanted to learn instead of reading through areas of this topic I was not interested in. Number two, prompt refining. Another hidden use for prompt chaining is refining your prompts. This is perfect for situations where you're not entirely sure how to phrase your initial prompt or when the AI's first response isn't quite what you were hoping for. For instance, imagine you want ChatGPT to draft a resignation letter. You start with a simple zero-shot prompt like, write me a resignation letter for leaving my current job. That's a pretty good start, but I want to make it a bit more personal. Include a sentence thanking my manager for the countless one-on-one -on -one sessions. That looks great. 
Lastly, let's try to show being extra supportive of the transition. All right, I could use this template now. Essentially, you start with a basic prompt that may not be so good, but you keep improving it little by little until you are completely satisfied with the final result. This is often how I come up with some very complex responses as you may have seen in my other videos. Hey, if this breakdown has given you any sort of insight or value, let me know by clicking the like button below. Now for the final and most game-changing use of prompt chaining is response validation or as I like to call it, medicine for hallucinations. As you're probably aware, AIs like ChatGPT sometimes hallucinate, which is when it generates information that sounds convincing, but isn't actually true. And even though LLMs have advanced so much over the last few months or even years, this still remains an ongoing challenge. So let me show you how you can catch them and of course, how to fix these hallucinations. All right, here's how it works. You do your normal prompt chaining where you iterate with the LLM for whatever topic. But there will come a point where you will want to double check one of the responses or one of its claims, right? So you will introduce a fact checking prompt. Here's how that prompt works. First, the prompt will identify what are the factual claims that are made from that response. Second, it will fact check them, maybe even using ChatGPT search. And third, it will rewrite its answer if it finds anything that was not factually correct. Hey, if you like this neat little trick to fix hallucinations, then you'll definitely like this video on how to create super optimized prompts every single time. Otherwise, subscribe for more videos on prompting techniques and everything AI.